I'm Bill from Guitar Center. Today I want to show you an iconic guitar from Martin, the Martin D18 Dreadnought. The D18 was first introduced in 1931 and was designed for folk and bluegrass players who were looking for big sound and extra volume. The big Dreadnought body helps deliver both. Bracing changed in 1939 because these players were using heavy gauge string with so much tension that the forward shifted bracing wasn't handling the load and tops were pulling up and it was becoming an issue. So to accommodate the players that were using those heavy strings, Martin moved the bracing back and that gave the top the extra strength it needed to deal with all that tension. The guitar stayed that way for decades. In 2012, Martin decided to completely redesign this guitar. Now it's still a D18, it's still made of the same kinds of materials, it still has all the D18 goodness that it's always had, but the braces have been returned to the early 30s position, they're forward shifted and they're scalloped, so the guitar sounds so much better. This guitar is happy with light gauge strings. Other changes that Martin made in the redesign of the D18 included using the performing artist's neck profile. It's shallower, it's not clubby at all, it is really comfortable. And the nut is now one and three quarter inches instead of one and eleven sixteenths. Of course the guitar is made in Nazareth, Pennsylvania at the Martin factory where they've been building guitars for over 180 years. The body is the dreadnought size, which Martin by the way invented in case you didn't know. It's made of tropical American mahogany. That's this wood here in the body. Isn't that beautiful wood? That is some really high quality mahogany. And the top is solid Sitka spruce, one of the best top woods you can get on any guitar. neck is a one piece solid wood neck. Really nice and it's satin finished so it's, it doesn't stick to your hands at all. I want you to see how shallow that thing is and how easy it fits in anyone's hands. That's really comfy. Let's look at the fingerboard and the bridge. These are both constructed of ebony. The bridge is known as a 30s style belly bridge. The rosette is what's called a style 18, inlaid rings here, and that style number 18, well it's a D18, but other models like 00018, anything that's got an 18 in it is going to have this style of trim on it, that's, that's what that means, just in case you are wondering where all these numbers and things come from. The body binding is a tortoise shell, it's mostly dark as you go around, but as you look in different spots, you'll see this coloration. It's a tortoiseshell style. Up here on the headstock, it has an overlay of East Indian rosewood. The tuners are vintage style. They're open gear, and these are nickel-plated butter bean tuners. The tortoise style pick guard is called a Delmar pick guard. Now it's called that because this is not just some chopped piece of plastic from a sheet like most pick guards. This pick guard is actually poured into a mold. It seems to have a better transparency than just the sheet cut plastic pick guards. And while we're looking around here, this nut and the saddle are both bone, the best material. The D18 is finished with nitrocellulose lacquer, a very thin material. It takes a lot of coats to get it this glossy and shiny. It's beautiful. And in case you were wondering, it comes with a Martin 445 hard shell case.
There are no electronics on this model. They can be retrofitted, but it's a pure acoustic guitar. This is the Martin D18. You can play one at a guitar center near you or check it out on guitarcenter.com.